Hey, what's up, guys? John here. Uh, so today, uh, I want to talk about this uh, this sorting problem here. Uh, number one thousand three hundred and twenty-nine. Sort the matrix di diagonally. So, <clears throat> okay. So let's take a look. Uh, you're given uh, a m m times n size matrix, and you need to sort all the elements diagonally, which means from left, from top left corner to the bottom right corner, it has to be sorted. Right, for example, this, this thing here, right? Two and one, you need to sort it to one and two. And three, two, one, you need to sort it back to one, two, and three. Same thing here, three, one, two, you also need to sort it back to one, two, and three. Same thing, one, two is already sorted, one is sorted, right? Uh, I think it's pretty straightforward, you know, like, uh, I think the, if you read the description carefully, you already know that. So all we need to do is find out all the numbers that are on the same diagonal and then we sort them, sort them, right? And then we just, uh, put them back, right? So for that, we'll, we're going to have like create a dictionary, you know, to save, <coughs> to save all the, uh, the numbers on the same diagonal, you know? How to save that? So because on the same diagonals, their i plus uh, i minus j should be the same, right? Because that's the uh, from bottom left to to top. I'm sorry, from top left to bottom right. So their th this one, two, three, their i minus j are the same. If you if you sort it like the uh, opposite uh, on the other side of diagonally diagonally, so the i plus j will, will be different. Let's say if you sort on this side, right? on this side, then then we'll be using i plus j. But in this case, since it's on it's this side, from top top left to bottom right, then uh, their, their i minus j will be the same. So, so basically we'll be using this one as a key and we add everything with the same value of i minus j to the dictionary and then we sort it, right? And then we just put them back. Right. Uh, cool. So, uh, define the M right. Mat and zero right, and then <coughs> let's create a dictionary right. So we're gonna have like a default uh, list right list. And then we do a for loop here right for I in range. Um, and for J in range M, right? We loop this to all the elements, right? And for the same I minus J, right? We add them to this to this uh, dictionary, right? So M, sorry, I to J, and then we do what? And then for each of the for each of the diagonal elements, right? We sort them, right? We sort them. And since we're going to put them back, right, one by one, right, so uh, the last one will be the first one to put back, right? So basically, we want to put it back um, from the from the, the smallest to the, to, the, to the biggest, right? So that in that case, uh, okay, let's do a in let's let's sort this dictionary first. Uh, uh, dictionary dot k, right? Sort, right? Uh, we, we're gonna sort it reverse, reversely. So which means the the biggest will be at the first, and then when we put it back, we can just simply do a pop, right? So from the tail, it will be the the smallest one. And then since we already sorted, and then we just do another for loop basically. Since we already have a sorted elements in this like in this array, we just need to uh, put them back one by one. Since we're doing we're we're looping from the left corner, and the the first time we see the uh, like a value of i and j, we know that that's going to be our our smallest number, right? So range, same thing, m for j in range n. Uh, so this time we do it reversely, right? We do we put it back from the di from the sorted dictionary, right? Uh, i minus j, right? We do we simply do a pop because we already sorted and the last one, every time we pop, 
pop it will be the, the smallest one right and then we just return math in the end uh, default dict cool all right uh yeah pretty straightforward for this problem just uh, sort them uh, do a dict uh, do a sort <coughs> Save all the, the elements with the same diagonal on the same diagonals uh, to the to the to the list, and then we sort them, and then in the end we just uh, put them back from smallest to biggest, right? Uh, cool. I think that's that's it for this problem. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching the video. Okay, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye.